It does appear for a little while, and then it is gone. As the old saying, no, you don't never miss what until it's gone. Uh, I'll be try to be as brief as I can. Uh, my daddy, my daddy in law, give me my marching orders when I'm coming up. So hurry up, we want to go eat. But I know, but everybody's wanting to be with their parents and stuff today, and I'll try to be brief. But I want to tell you some words about yes, my heavenly Father. This oh morning. yes. Uh, our lesson today, if you have a quarterly, you'll find it in Leviticus chapter 25. Or quarterly kind of skips around 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then jumps to 25. Goes to 35 and 36, 35 through 36, 39, 40, 47, 48, and then skips to 55. But what I want, I want to try to, to uh, condense it if I can this morning. Uh, you know, uh, this chapter deals with the year of Jubilee. The acceptable year unto the Lord. You know, it was never ever in God's plan for man or mankind to be in bondage or being stricken in poverty and property. It wasn't God's plan. People, a lot of people say, well, why do we go back and study the Old Testament or why do we even look at the Old Testament? But Paul wrote in Hebrews that the Old Testament is a shadow of good things to come. Amen. God has not changed, like J.R. said this morning. He's the same yesterday, today, Amen. and forever. Yes. And what He intended for man to have from the beginning. If we read this, we can, we can see how the God of love, the God Almighty intended mankind to be and how mankind, He, he intended life to be here on this earth. You're right, Ron. God said in the first in the Ten Commandments, He said, remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Sure did. Yes. If you'll go to Luke, Jesus said the Sabbath wasn't made for man. Man was not <clears throat> the Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. Right. God made this Sabbath day for us. Yes. He didn't make us for the Sabbath Come day. On, Ronnie, you're right. The Sabbath day, God intended for man to rest. Right. Six days a week, you're going to work, you're going to toil. Come on. But the seventh day, God made that day special for us. Amen. Yes. He said for you to rest from your toils and trouble, mm -hmm. and it's a blessed day. Yes. And Eddie, he wanted everybody to yep. have a day of rest and remember the Creator, Him. Come on, buddy. And right. remember what He's done for us. Yes. And to give Him praise and to give Him more glory and honor. Yes, yes. And it be a blessed day. Oh, yeah. And we stand here today in just a couple of weeks, it's going to be the 4th of July. Yeah. And our founding fathers, they set this country up on the principles of this Word of God. You're right, You're right. You're right. But as the old timers used to say, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. You're right. Right. A lot of oh, people yeah. had good intentions. Yes. I had good intentions for a long time. Yes. Yeah. I knew when I was a kid listening and growing up and I turned my back to the Lord, I knew that which way was right and which way was wrong. Right. Yeah. I always intended that one day yeah. I was going to straighten myself up. Yeah, sure. oh, one right. day I was always going to do better. Yes. Yes. One day it was going to be like this, but uh, not today. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. You're right, Ron. If you find you can find this scripture, a part of this scripture, verse 10, on our liberty bed. Leviticus, Leviticus 10 yep. is wrote when they ordered when the Liberty Bell was brought over, mm -hmm. a senator from oh, Pennsylvania yeah. said, I'd like for this scripture to be oh, inscripted yeah. on our bail. Come in, on, Ron. Inscribed. It said they inscribed on it. Proclaim liberty throughout all the land and to all the inhabitants. See, our founding fathers wanted this to be the land of the free. Come on, Ron. Yeah. The land of, we say our pledge of allegiance. Yes. Uh -huh. With liberty and justice for all. Yes. But, as we'll find as we read, God intended mankind not to be in bondage. Right. 
He told Abraham on Mount Sinai, and the Lord spake to him, and he said, I want you to tell the children of Israel this. When you come into your land, the land I'm going to give you, when you get into that promised land, All right. here's how I want it to be. You're going to remember the Sabbath day. Every Sabbath day you're going to rest. But also this land is going to rest. I want the land that you're going to give you to rest. Every seven years, you're not to sow it, you're not to reap it, you're not to harvest it, you're not to prune your trees, you're not to do nothing. I thought, my goodness, why would God say that? Then I thought, God has not changed. God wanted the children of Israel to know, just like He wants you and I to know today. Come on, You're right. He wants to have them faith. Yeah, buddy. Richard, it would be hard if that was your only substance. Uh -huh. What you raised down there in that garden, what you're going to eat this year. Oh, yeah. Not to plant a thing. Yeah. Right. Don't plant nothing. Yeah, don't right. harvest nothing. Don't do nothing. God said, I'm going to show you that oh, it's not I'll by your it. hands, Come on. not by what you're doing, Come it's on. what I'm doing. Yes. Now, you can do all you can do, but if I don't bless it and I don't you're right, Ron. Yeah, give it to you, you ain't going to have nothing, Eddie. That's, right. That's what God said. That's right. yes. God said, I'm going to show you that it's not by your hands you're right. that you're making it. You're right. you got to have faith. I want you to trust in me. I want you to understand Every seven years, I'm going to take you up. Yes. You don't have to do a thing, J.R. You're right. Mm -hmm. And if you'll go on and listen to what he said, he's now, uh, I'm going to take care of you, your children, yeah. your wife, yeah. your handmaids, your yeah. maid servants. I'm taking care of It's going to be plentiful that year. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't going to have to worry about it. Your cattle, your sheep, all oh, the beasts oh, of the oh, field, yeah. Yeah. they're going to multiply. They're not only going to eat, <laughs> they're going to grow. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he told them. That's right. You're right, Ron. Then he took it another step further. And that's what we're studying today. He said seven seventh years. Seven, seven, seven Sabbath years. Seven times seven will be the fiftieth year and here's what I want to happen. <laughs> he said, every seven days rest, every seven years make your land rest. Come on. And then every seven, 49th year, the 50th year is going right. to be a celebration. Right. Amen. It's going to be a year of jubilee. Right. Come on. You're right. It's going to be Amen. a Precious year unto me. Yeah. Yeah. On the tenth day of the seventh month, the day of the atonement, that was the day that the priest went in and offered up a sacrifice for everybody's sin. Yeah. He said, I want a trumpet to be heard. Oh, I want it to be heard all over the land. Yeah. And from that day, if you, Richard, had fell on hard times and sold you my property, you could get it back. That's right. That's right. That's right. If you, Lee, fell on hard times yes. and you became a servant to me, a slave to me, Come on. your debt was forgiven. You're right, Lee. Yeah, Amen. Yes. Yeah. It was like you seen the, the Staples commercial. That was easy. Yeah. It was a reset button. Every 50 years, bam, yeah. reset. Yeah. You got your status back. Yeah. You got your status back. Reinstated. Everybody's back even. Oh, yes. yeah. Everybody's Bless even. God. Everybody Lord. has their own possessions. Everybody gets their land back. <coughs> Everybody gets to go back to their family. Yes. Right. There's nothing like going home. Yeah. You get to go home. Yes. You get to go back to your family. Yes. yes. You're not a slave anymore. Yep. You get to go home. Yes. You're right, Ron. But if you'll read. That's what God intended to be. Yes, right. Galatians 5.14, Bob wrote this. Uh -huh. <laughs> for the law is fulfilled in one word. Yeah. Even this. Thou shalt love thy neighbor yeah, as thyself. Yeah. Yeah. That's what the law was all about. Yeah. 
That's what this law, this commandment was about, right. is for me and you, Richard, to live in love, peace, harmony. Yes, yes. You're not over me. I'm not your taskmaster. Right. You're, and I'm not over you. I'm not your taskmaster. We're equal in the size of so sight of God. God. Yes. Amen. All in the same playing field. Yes. Eddie, you and I to live in peace, harmony, and love all our lives. Yes. Yeah. What it was intended to be. Yes, yes. Let's talk about this Liberty Bell. They said in July the 8th, 1776, the bell was rung and it summoned all the people to the reading of the Declaration of Independence. Mm -hmm. Come on, Ray. They rung that bell, that liberty bell, Come on. proclaimed liberty all through the United States, Come on, you're right. and they read the Declaration of Independence. Yeah. We're going away from England. Mm -hmm. We're starting free. this country. Yeah. We're starting a free country. You're right. Yeah. And we're founded on the Word of God. Yes. yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. You're right. Wow, we've been blessed. Yes, it is. If you'll go back and read, sadly, Sadly, in this Bible, there's never recorded a year of Jubilee. Right. You won't find it. Mm -hmm. I've searched, I've read, I've searched for two weeks. You cannot find a year of Jubilee. And if you'll go to Leviticus, the next chapter of 26, you'll find out why. Yeah. God said, if you don't do what I'm instructing you to do, Keep my statue. Right. He said, I'm going to turn my anger right. towards you. Yes, sir. Yeah, you're right. And your land will become desolate. Mm -hmm. I'm going to chase you. I'm going to let your enemy come yeah. and take you. Be and you're going to go into exile. And this land will get its rest. Because I'm going to pay you back seven times right. for your sin. Come on, Ron. And if you'll read, they went in captivity seven. and they laid, the land laid desolate for 70 years. Right. The land got its rest. Yeah. Bless you, Amen. Ron. So, Jubilee never happened. There ain't recorded nowhere. Why? Because mankind mm -hmm. had a greedy heart. Yes, yeah. sir. Oh, yes. Yeah. Sin uh, makes men. Come on, you're right. Do lots of things. Amen. Makes them turn a deaf ear to the Spirit oh, of God. Yes. God's Word. Yes. I got your stuff. I'm not giving it back to you. Right. I got you as a servant. Yep. I don't want to do that work myself, Lee. Right. I'm going to make you do it. Yep. Yeah. You're right. Never happened, JR. Yeah. Right. But the Gospel says. Is good news. Oh, yes. Yeah. If you'll turn with me to Luke 4. All right. Now remember what good. God said. Everybody gets to turn back to their homeland. Go home. <coughs> Jesus Christ went in the wilderness yeah. and he was tempted for 40 days. Yes, he was. <coughs> and he was tempted in all ways and all things. Yes. And he defeated the devil there. Oh, yes. Now you pay close attention to what Jesus said. <coughs> Jesus went back home. Yeah. He went to Nazareth. That's the homeland. Yeah. With his home people. Mm -hmm. Jubilee's coming. Yeah. Jesus went to his homeland and he went in the Sabbath. The synagogue on the Sabbath. Yes, he did. Come on, Rod. And they took the scroll out and they were reading the book of Isaiah. And Jesus took that scroll and He turned to chapter 61, yeah. verse 1, and here's what He read. Isaiah was prophesying about this acceptable year, yeah. about this jubilee year, about right. would right. come. <coughs> right, Ron. Come on. And Jesus declared, and this is, you can read it in Isaiah or you can read it in Mark. It doesn't change. It says exact words. The Spirit of the Jesus, it is written and He read, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me 
because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Yes. Mm -hmm. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Yes. To preach deliverance oh. to all the captives. Come on, Jesus. Going to set all the captives free, J.R. Yeah. Recover the sight to the blind. Oh, yes. And what? And to set liberty to them that are bruised. Yes. To preach the acceptable, the acceptable year. Yeah, amen. Jubilee is here. Yeah. Jesus said, I have come to set you free. Yeah, that you yeah. might have life. More about Jubilee you. is here. Will you accept it? Yes. Yeah. Jubilee is here this day. God said today is the day of salvation. Yeah, right. Now is the acceptable time. Yeah, yeah, yes, you're right. right. Jubilee is here. Oh, yes. You've got a debt you can't pay. You and I and everybody in this building, if you haven't got Jesus Christ in your heart as the Savior, as your Savior, you're under bondage. Oh, yes. You say, oh, wait a minute, I can go where I want and do what I want. I'm a man and a woman. I'm not talking about that bondage. I'm talking about the bondage of sin. And Jesus said, the Bible says, the wages of sin is death. Yes. It's going to be a payday someday. Yes. That is your reward for sin. Yeah. The wages of sin is death. That's right. You're entangled into sin and you can't get out of it. Yeah. You may have all kinds of good intentions that one of these days you're going to straighten yourself up. But friend, it ain't never going to happen. Yeah. You're right, you're right. Right. You can't do it on your own. Nope. Right. Right. Amen. Jesus Christ said in John 8, it says, The servant abideth not in the city. He said, Jesus answered in verse 34, said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committeth sin is a servant unto sin. Oh, yes. And he goes on and he said, The servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth forever. And he said, If the son therefore shall make you free, mm -hmm. ye shall be free indeed. Yeah, Amen. Not part way, not almost, mm -hmm. but truly free. Oh, yes. from this wages of sin. Amen. Yes. See, Christ came down <coughs> and we all had a debt to pay. Lady. Yes. You're and right. we couldn't pay that debt. No. Couldn't pay it. So He came down. God laid the statues down and right. what's going to happen to you? Mm -hmm. You're right, Ryan. So He came down and He took on a fleshly body. Yes, He did. And He overcome sin. Yes. In the fleshly body. He was tempted in all what? Come on, you're right. So he paid the debt Amen. in his debt. The wages of sin is debt. He died for you, for you, for you, for you, for everybody in this world. Oh, yes. Paid the debt in full. Yes, he did. Thank you, Lord. But he arose victorious of that punishment. And he shed his life's blood for that atonement. The day of atonement. Yes. Came. Amen. You're right. Not to be done every year, but for everlasting covenant. Amen. You're right. To take care of all sin. Yes. Covered by the blood. Yes. And He calls us out of this bondage into a service. Yes, it is. Yes. You say, now wait a minute. I'm going to be a servant of God different kind of service. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. I'll say it to you in this way. It's a service of love. Now, J.R. and Bobby and Audrey and a few older folks that know my family all my life. My dad was big on work. I guess he thought if he give us too much time, we're going to get in trouble. Yes. Yeah. And it was true, a lot of them. Yeah. So he had tasks yeah. for all of us to do. And I absolutely <coughs> hated mowing grass. 
Every Monday, Bobby, you correct me if I'm wrong, every Monday and every Friday, the grass was to be cut. Whether it needed or not. Whether it needed or not, you might not even see where you're cutting, but you can see the wiggle marks. Yeah. That's the truth. Come on, Bobby. If we in our time, don't make if you're a boy or a girl, we in our time, uh, you ain't got no grass to cut. Oh, uh, guess what? You can wash dishes. You can make beds. Uh, you can sweep floors. You can do something. Yeah. And that's the way it was. And I hated it, Richard. Yeah. I absolutely hated it. Yeah. Wait till I get out I of was mind. made to do it. Yeah. <laughs> and along came one day that I met Cheryl. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I fell in love, Lee. And you know what? When I, we got our own place, it wasn't bad at all to cut grass. <laughs> it wasn't that bad to cut weeds. Come on, Ron. Oh, if she had a bad day, it don't bother me a bit to wash dishes. It don't bother me a bit. You're right. Because it's out of luck. Yes. And if I had any, maybe that's not a very good analogy, but that's the way serving the Lord. It's not a to serve him. You do it in love. Yeah, I want to serve him. Yes, sir. I want to do it. Yes. He loves me. I love him. I want to work for him. Yeah. Amen. It's a joy. Yeah. It's a peace. Joy It's a comfort. Yeah. It's a happiness. Yeah. Yes. J.R. talked talk this morning. Yes. You, I can't explain it. I have, don't have the vocabulary. Come on, Ryan. Or maybe the wisdom to explain it to you. But if you were just trapped. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on, Ryan. You'll just find try. out what people's been talking about. Yes, they might. Yeah. They say the Liberty Bell, 50 years, right at 50 years after the War of Independence was over, it was rung again. And there was a crack split up in it. Right. So bad that it sat there for over 165 years now. It's never made another sound, Joe. Yeah. Jubilee has never come to the United States. Come on, Ron. Jubilee never did come to the Israelites. Nope. Jubilee is here today for you and for us. Yes, you're us. Now we can sit in silence, like our liberty bell was said. Correct. We can choose not to take our liberties in Christ. Come on, Ron. And we can be just like the liberty bell, and we can be just like the children of Israel. We don't. We won't accept it. Mm -hmm. But Jesus is here this morning. He has brought jubilee. Yes. Not just for one year, Come on, but everlasting years. Yes. Right. We've got an example of how God wanted it to be. Folks, it's how it's going to be in heaven. Come on. Yeah. The Jubilee is yours if you want it. Yes. 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 Yes.